All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate being here and, uh, and the opportunity to talk to you. Uh, just give you a little bit of update on our football team. Uh, you know, last year when I was here, I mentioned that we were going to be about 75% true freshmen, and that's really how we were. We, uh, the night we won our first game, I looked out on the field, and it was the fourth quarter, and the other team was trying to mount a fourth quarter rally, and six of the front seven guys on the field for our defense at that time were true freshmen. So that's the kind of year we had. Uh, you know, it was a lot of learning, took some lumps, but played pretty well most of the time. I think we were a very competitive football team in all but about maybe two or three or four games. But uh, this, this spring, we look like a complete different team. We, I mean, our freshmen are now sophomores, but they're veteran sophomores. They've played, they've experienced uh, what it's like to go through games. And, you know, they were out there on the field and it was like, okay, this is no big deal. We know how to do this. And uh, we, we looked much, much better this spring than we looked last fall. Uh, we've added another 65 more true freshmen to our football team. So, you know, this year will be maybe a half, 50% true freshmen, something like that. And, and the majority of our team will be freshmen and sophomores. So we'll still be very young. And I'm sure we still have lots of things to learn. Um, but we're, we're a much better football team. It's just not even close. It was night and day from the, where it was last spring. Uh, Personnel-wise, I can run down for you a little bit about our personnel. Quarterback-wise, we had Zane Zabraski as a starter for, uh, I think, six, of, six or seven of our games last year. And uh, we also started Adam Nugabauer for three or four games. And uh, Nugi ended up being third in the league in pass efficiency. So I mean, he, did, he did some really good things. So we feel like it's the same two-horse race that it was a year ago. And, uh, and we recruited, well, we have Mike Angelich coming back, and we recruited a kid named Jeremy Musselman from Walkersville, Maryland. Big, tall, strong arm kid. So there was great competition at our quarterback position. Uh, Reggie Taylor was our tailback, and uh, he was a 2,000 yard rusher in his two years at Wesley. And he did graduate. We have Trey Massey, who was a true freshman who played in, in uh, place of him at times last year. And then Julian Valentin also started a couple of games for us last year and played real well. So those are those are the two returning tailbacks. Both of them were true freshmen a year ago. I think they're both pretty talented kids looking forward to seeing them play. Our fullbacks, Aaron Eckerd and Joe Stallings are both returning from last year. We lost Joe in the first game of the year with a with an ACL and uh, he didn't play the rest of the year. So it'll be good to have him back. Um, our tight ends, um, you know, that position's wide open for us. We have Stephen Campbell, who's a big 230-pound tailback that we moved there in the spring. And uh, that would be our returning starter at this point, and then a whole host of freshmen behind him. All of our wide receivers are back, every single one of them. Uh, Jonathan Meadows had a great year last year, uh, second half of the season. I think he played four or five games in a row when he had a touchdown pass of 60 yards or more. Uh, so, I mean, he had a heck of a year. T.J. Benners uh, was a tremendous kickoff returner for us last year. Emmanuel Burrell's back, LaVon Hughes is back, and we added a new kid in the spring named Tavon Gatlin, who's maybe the most dynamic of them all. So we feel really good about our receivers. Uh, offensive line-wise, um, they're all back as well. All Everyone's back, and we actually get a guy that was injured and sat last year out back. So uh, Jesse Buck um, was a f true freshman, started at all the games at left guard. Sean Kundrat was a, two, a true freshman and started all the games at center. So, you know, where those guys were true freshmen a year ago, now they're veteran players. Uh, we have J.B. Walton, who's a transfer from Penn State at one guard. And then uh, Shannon Breen and Kyle McLean, two kids that have been starting for us for a couple of years at tackles. So, I mean, our offensive line is all returning. We need to find some depth there. We need to find out who's going to be uh, the, the backups, who can play in a game if anything happens to any of those guys. Julio Villatoro is the guy I mentioned that was a starter two years ago and is back now and sat out most of last year with injuries. Uh, and that's that's pretty much wraps up our offense. Um, now, before I go to defense, you know, the one glaring thing you look at on our team is we we graduated Derek Moore, who was both our punter and our kicker and all-conference player for two years. Uh, there there really wasn't a guy in the program to replace him. Now, we do, we do have a freshman from last year's team, Jonathan Hood, but we brought in five kickers and two punters to, for competition this year. So w that remains to be seen. We, we think we've got some real strong leg guys and some guys that can do the job, but that's going to be a huge question mark for us going into the season. Uh, on defense, up front, you know, we had 
problems, I think, matching up a little bit last year. Um, Mike Price is a really good football player. He was our three technique. He was the conference player of the week one week and, you know, just really good things uh, for most of the year. That's one of our defensive tackles. Uh, another guy, you know, Keith Branch and uh, was a senior last year. He went on and graduated. So we have uh, Dan Yovali, who was in the program for a couple of years. Uh, he played for us in the spring. We did get a transfer from Notre Dame named Darrell Hand to play defensive tackle as well. We signed Zach Hendershot out of Parkersburg, really good defensive tackle. So, I mean, we feel good that the tackle positions improved a lot. Uh, defensive end, we graduated Nick Wilson, who was a real fine player and a, either a second team or honorable mention all-conference player. Uh, but that's it. You know, the guy that was behind him, Jonah Sellian, was one of the top sack guys in the league, and he was just a true freshman. So he's back. We're looking forward to him. Dallas Burkhalter, uh, defensive end. Uh, he, he was the other defensive end. He's back. So, you know, we're okay there. Jamar Washington is a transfer that sat out last uh, last year. He's eligible now. Had a real good spring. So, I mean, we're, we're looking forward to those those guys getting better. That, that That's a unit that really needs to be better. We weren't physical enough or strong enough up front there last year. And, and I think the same thing can be said of our linebackers. Um, we have Jesse Robertson and Jake Leninsky, who were both true freshmen last year. They both started, played every game, and they're both back. And then the other positions, linebacker-wise, are wide open. Uh, Andy Fields played for us some last year on special teams. Jeremy Dozier was a transfer we brought in in the spring. Uh, all, all those guys are returning. So we've got good, I think we've got good players there, and we'll have good competition, but that's a little bit of a question mark. The strength we have on our defense is no question our secondary. Um, I think we have six corners that I would be absolutely proud to put in a game. And I mean, they're really good ones. Uh, Otis Scott's been a two-year starter for us. He's back. Antoine Staten started all the games last year. He's back. Mike Pruden played in all the games last year. He's back. And then two kids that were true freshmen last year, Stefan Knox and Jeff Parrish, they're both back. So corner-wise, we're in great shape. Our safeties are all returning and then the, the but the beauty of that is we've added two transfers there uh, john maddox was another guy from central michigan that sat last year out he's now eligible and boy he had a great spring i mean he's really a top-notch player and nobody knows about him but you'll see him as the season wears on and then uh, ben akalifu at the other safety position is is a new transfer the junior college kid that came in in the spring so that's a position we had to get better at um we did, you know, we played well at times there last year. We didn't play well at times. So uh, Valentino Williams and Adam D'Amico, Felipe Texiero, those guys played almost all the snaps last year. They're all back too. So I, I feel real good about our secondary. Where, where we have question marks is probably up front in the D-line and linebackers. Some big changes are expected on the offensive side of the football for you this season. You're bringing in former Texas Tech assistant Gary Goff, and it was a wing tee attack last year, and now we might see the air filled with footballs. That's a there's a good possibility that I've, I like Gary. He's he's a great addition to our staff. He's a seasoned veteran coach, and uh, you know he came in to interview when the job opened up, and, and he was like 20 minutes into the interview, and I knew this was our guy. You know he's he's got a great teaching progression. He knows what he's doing. Uh, the offense surprisingly, when you watch Mike Leach and those guys at Texas Tech, you think, my God, that's a lot of stuff. But surprisingly, it's a pretty simple offense. And uh, it, it looks like a lot because you do a lot of formations and a lot of different motions and shifts and, and so forth. But the, the nuts and bolts of it is simple to teach, and our players learned it fast in the spring. They loved it, too. Lastly, Coach, uh, this has become a very deep West Virginia Conference. Coach is routinely talking about balance. It's very difficult to climb within the ranks, is it not? Well, the first thing I want to say about that is I, I've been extremely impressed with the caliber of coaching in this league. The coaches are outstanding. I mean, they do a great job. They're well prepared. Their teams are well prepared. Their schemes are good. They recruit well. I mean, this league's come a long way. I mean, I remember when I was the head coach at Edinburgh, we used to come down here and play some of these teams. But the league's changed since then. It's a way better league now than it was then. It's really good. So my hat's off to the coaches. They do a great job in this league. And you're right. It is hard to climb, you know. And I, I look around our league and I say, geez, probably every guy that was really an impact player in this league is back again for another year. So, I mean, it's going to be hard to climb. There's no question. But, you know, hopefully we're better too. So we'll see what happens. Second year West Virginia Wesleyan head coach Dennis Crehan.